This is our situation. I've joined the server a little late and everyone already has some awesome builds. Like, check out this awesome castle in the sky build. And this little town? It's so good and so cute. I need to think of something cool to build. Something that will fit in well with these other builds. And then it hit me. Most people build starter bases on Minecraft. But me? I'm going to build a starter island. And it's going to be epic. So stick around for the end result. I have this little island ready that I'll transform into the starter island. But I have no idea of what I'm going to actually build on it, so it's time to get thinking. What are the five things every Minecraft player needs early game? Shelter, a food source, a mine, a storage space, and a nether portal. Let's map that out and see how it looks. Yep, I think that'll fit nicely. And we can have a path that goes a little something like this? Perfect. Now we just need to choose a build style. I think I'm gonna build modern city stuff later in this series, so for now I'm going to build in a magical fantasy forest style. I've just made plots for each build with a chest for the resources required to make them. I guess now we just have to fill the chests. Why is this floating? This is weird. This is not normal. It's not normal behavior. I was going to collect all the materials, then build everything at the same time, but I need better tools, or this will take forever. So, it's time to make the mine. Let's go. Apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur, and the whole club was looking right at her. Baggy sweatpants, the rebox with the strap. She turned around and gave that big booty a smack. Oh, and then the next Okay, guys, so I spent the last hour digging a big hole. And the mine is pretty much done. I'd like to add rails all the way to the bottom, but you know, I'll save that for another day. We have different strip mines going off at the levels for each ore. This is iron, obviously. Here's the gold level. And right at the bottom, we have the diamond level. Like I said, I need better tools, so it's time to go strip mining. We've just had a great mining session over on Twitch. The link is in the bio if you want to watch my streams. Anyway, check out all of these diamonds. It's time to make some tools and go and use my friend's XP farm and enchantment table and hopefully get some great enchants. I want this pick to be insane. We finally have good tools. I'd like you guys to meet the Landscaper. Efficiency five, unbreaking three. Mows dirt like it's nothing. The Tree Chopper, unbreaking three, efficiency five. Mows trees like it's nothing. The Money Maker, efficiency five, unbreaking three. Fortune three, oh my God, I love fortune. It makes hella money. The Stone Getter, efficiency five, unbreaking three, silk touch. Perfect for getting stone. 
And last but not least, the killer. Fire Ass Break 2, Sharpness 5, and Breaking 3. You don't want to get on the wrong side of this, bad boy. Now that our tools are enchanted, I think we'll build the nether portal next. The idea is to build it out of amethyst geode materials, so it looks like it's this cool, natural, fantasy sort of portal thing in the forest. It's hard to explain. You'll just have to wait and see. But first, we need to destroy some geodes. God damn, I love this pickaxe. So here's the finished result. I'm actually really happy with how this has turned out. It looks magical. What are you doing? It looks magical, it looks fantasy, it looks majestic. It's gonna look so good when we finally finish the project and plant trees everywhere. It'll fit in really nicely with the magical forest. I'm actually really excited. But as you can see, all of this building and mining is getting me hungry, so I think next? We need to work on the chicken farm. So we've sort of finished the build here, and I actually really like it. But now, just like we did with this building and our portal, we need to make it leafy. We need to make it viney. We need to make it magical. There we are, this is looking super magical now. I think I'm gonna build a little wheat farm over here and maybe another one over here. Just because this is our farm building, we need, we need like food, you know? It seems a stack of seeds doesn't really get you that far. Okay, well, I guess that is just a work in progress, but now we need to do our actual food source. We need to figure out how to get a chicken farm going on in here. I actually don't know if this is enough space. I didn't really think this through. So guys, I found a design that will fit here and I've got everything we need for it in the shulker box. So I guess let's build it. Alright, it's looking okay so far, but um, we need to get some chicken. This is a little gunpowder farm I built off camera, by the way. And while I was building it, I remember seeing chickens near here. There they are. Right, I got one in the boat. Oh, I've got two in the boat. I don't want them both in the boat. Okay guys, one at a time, please. Oh no, this is nothing. This is definitely not going to imprison you for the rest of your life. There we are, first one in. What if I told you the love of your life was sat right here? 
That did not work. Holy! They just made a baby through a wall. There we are, got you. We have loads in, but still not enough. We need 24, because that's the maximum before the chickens start to cram and die. Starting to think this chicken farm is pretty unethical. Finally! Finally! We've, we're, we're crammed. We're full. This is totally ethical, guys. Don't even worry. And here we are, guys. It's all finished. When these chickens lay eggs, it spawns a baby chicken here. And just like that, every now and then the lava will appear. And when these chickens are old enough, the lava will cook it and it will come out here. I don't know what that's doing there. And now you may be wondering, Charlie, you've got all this chicken. Where are you gonna keep it? You need a storage room. You're right. Let's go build it. What? That is supposed to be in my creeper farm. What the freak? That's a cool wall, right? Hopefully you said yes, cause uh, I'm sticking with it. Um. Okay guys, just trust me, it'll look good soon. See, guys, it's sort of taking shape. I told you guys it would start making sense soon. It's pretty cool. Look at it so far, guys. It's looking pretty good. This is looking really cool so far. Guys, we're actually almost there. Now we just need to take our magical looking blocks and make this warehouse look more majestic. Check this place out. It looks so magical. Oh my god. Guess now we just need to take down our scaffolding. I am very happy with this, guys. So there we are, that's our warehouse all finished. Oh, I forgot I had to make chests. Okay, guys, are we ready for the big reveal? Boom! I've got all these chests inside, and I've got different sections. I guess this will be wood, this can be stone, and so on and so on. I've also made it so that if we need to expand, we can, we can go up these ladders and build more chests up here. But that means that our warehouse is now complete. So we have one final job. Well, 
one big job. We're gonna make a little statue, but we'll worry about that later. The big task is our home. I've saved the best to last. And guys, look at this, we're all done. It's such a beautiful build, like it. It's, it's just so pretty. So all that's left to do is the interior. And um, there we are, that's all I need. I'm joking, I promise I will do more interior, but just off camera because you know what? It, it, I don't care about that right now. I wanna finish the forest, don't you agree? Let's finish this bloody project. Let's just take a minute to admire this view as well. Look at the sea. And we can see the castle of the sky in all of its glory. Guys, you'll be pleased to hear that it is finally time to turn our island into a forest. We've got all the builds, and now we just need to make it magical. I'm gonna build a big statue here, and maybe another one, and then I'm gonna fill it with trees and just make it so pretty. Let's do this. You know, I think it's pretty cool. I was gonna only do one statue, but while I've been playing, I've managed to get three Wither Skulls. So I think it would be really cool to have a beacon, um, a beacon statue sort of monument thing. I don't know, it'll just look magical, you know? I don't really know where to put it. Maybe like here, where I'm stood, there's some space, or there, but then the two statues are really close together. Oh, I don't know. I should not have built that so central. Darn. Okay, let's kill this thing. I I'm doing it the cheaty way because, um, well, to be honest, I'm just lazy. Although I've never done it like this, and I'm following an old tutorial, so I hope it works. Okay, that looks like it's gonna work. Um, that is very loud. Last hit, let's go, the nether star. Yep, yeah, screw it, I'm putting it here. Okay guys, are you ready? Yeah, baby. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good spot for it. I think purple will fit our vibe best, let's see. Nice. Well, here we are guys, this is what I've done. It's a bit weird, but you know, whatever. I know I've already said this already, but this time I mean it. Let's make it into a forest. Okay guys, I've finished the path. There's actually so much going on in these paths that it's lagging my computer. But who cares, cause look how nice they look. They'll look even better once we get trees.
Jeez, there's so much going on here that my FPS is actually dropping just walking through. Oh my gosh. It's pretty though. Just look at this, it's beautiful, it's actually beautiful. And here we have it guys, it's beautiful. I'm just going to walk you guys through the forest so you can really get a sense of the atmosphere. So here's the beginning, we have the nether portal up there, this way is our warehouse, and we can just cut through the warehouse to the next part. Portal entrance right here, and if we just follow the path around, the amazing statue in the middle, a bit like a roundabout, takes you past our farmhouse, and it takes you all the way to our mine shaft. If we go back to the center roundabout, this staircase here, right up to our master house. You can also take a look at our nice purple beacon. I have been Charlie Chaz, and this has been my starter island.